well, I, and I said to the spirit, I'm going up there, because I don't think it's real. So I went up there, and the next thing you know, I'm on the ground. <laughs> calling on Jesus. Are you hearing me? I'm calling on Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Calling on, and, and I, I was gone. I was blanked out. I, 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 was, I was in another zone. And so after I came to myself, I realized that I was on the ground, and now I'm starting to feel what I'm doing down here. <laughs> and I got up, and I walked slowly back to my seat. But something touched me that night because when I got home from that day forth, I never got in trouble in school. I went to school, I went to class, folded my hands, I read the Bible every day. Something got a hold of me. Yeah. Yeah. I read it. Hey, some got a hold of me that night. But now, but now, when I had to move away from grandmother's house, or I, I, I got back with my family or with my mother and those that did not live that same life, it faded away. Are you following me? In other words, I began to go back to my old ways because I didn't understand what I had. Are y'all here? But 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 I want to I want to share something with you tonight. Something very 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 important. I want to show you something. I want to make an illustration tonight that 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 I want you to zoom in on what God is trying to say to the church. Because God is trying to say something very important to the church. Now, you, some of you might catch on, but I, I know that all of you are not going to catch on, especially not the younger generation. Okay, okay. 
But the real uh, uh, chastisement came from my grandmother. Mm -hmm. right. And so he was really my father. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He was really my father. Yes, it was. Uh -huh. I was the youngest boy. Got the most whippings. Okay. Went right down here where they used to call it TGY mm -hmm. at a young age and got caught stiff. Mm -hmm. Young. I was doing things at a young age, but they stayed on me and they kept spanking. Grandmama, grandmama didn't let up. Kept spanking. Kept taking me to church. How you following? Yes. The Bible says in Proverbs, the 27th chapter, the 15th verse. It says, foolishness abound in the hearts of a child. But the rod of correction would drive it far away. Now, Jesus said, except you come as a little child. And so, he wants us to remain true. We always will be children. Amen. In other words, we always will be students. Right. Amen. We always is in a place where we need correction. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. And God began to speak to me and say, the church has a hard problem with taking correction. We can't take correction. In other words, I'm talking about from the pulpit to the door. It's hard for us to take correction. It's hard for us to admit our mistakes, our wrong, our errors. Amen, somebody. And if we do take your correction, it's not long before we're going to leave your ministry. Or it's not long before me and the preacher is not going to be fellowshipping no more. Because yeah, yeah. I don't like what you said. I don't like how you said yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And so, I was a bad child. I, I know I was because I got more whippings than everybody. <laughs> Amen. I got more whippings. I, matter of fact, I know I tripled the whippings that but I Add them up to my one. Yeah. But God had his hand on me. Yeah. God had his hand on me. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. It's funny how 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 Jacob, Jacob, Jacob ran from Esau, his brother. Uh -huh. But had the nerve to grab hold of God. Uh -huh. Had the nerve to grab hold of the Almighty God. And wrestle with it. But we wrestle with me. Yeah. <laughs> and the Bible says that Jacob was known as a sixth, yeah. as a con, yeah, right. as a trickster. That's right. That's right. Whoever would have thought that his name would represent to struggle with God and prevail. Because yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. those that seem to be perverse, mm -hmm. those that seem to be the outcast, those that seem to be the the the, the most hard head, the black sheep, whatever you want to call it, those be the one that God is calling and using yeah, yeah, yeah. to do a great work. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you look at my history, and I told y'all how I went from high school and, 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 and went to the military and, and, and went with the city and, and got all these years and been married for 16 years, you'll think that, man, this man got it together. He, all his life, he done had it together. The devil is a lie. If the truth be told, I was in the military setting drugs. Come on, somebody say that. Yeah, I, I, I dress up in a white suit, a white hat, but my heart was far from God. Yeah. I knew that. Because yeah. God, uh, my grandmother instilled in me the word of God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The word of God. The Bible says that my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Amen. Huh? 
or they perish for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But he goes on to say in the New Testament that my will is that none should perish, but all come into a repentance. Yeah. Hmm? It says, without a vision, the people do what? Yeah. Perish. Perish. In other words, we think of perish as in being destroyed or dying off. But perish means to run wild, right? to be unruly, yeah. untrained, yeah. to act like a fool, yeah. to act like you have no manners or home training. All right, come on, talk about it. How could the church be a perishing people uh -huh. Uh -huh. when they've been trained by the best? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, we look at those young people out in the street wearing their pants down, gold tattoos, piercing, dreads, and we look at them and we say they're so disrespectful. They're cussing on. But look at the church. Take a look at the church. Are you hearing me? We could be some perishing, some unruly, some some thuggish church folk. Sometimes God shows ourselves through how the world is acting, how the how folks are acting, how young people are acting. I can remember when, when whenever uh, my mother whooped me, or my grandmother whooped me, or my father whooped me. Talk about calling nine one one. Unheard of. Only time you, you heard you see an ambulance, amen, is when somebody was sick going to the hospital. Only time you seen the police is when somebody broke in your house. But you ain't calling no 911, no 411. All that stuff was not even an option. Are y'all with me? God is trying to correct the church. But can we take correction? Can we take correction? Can we stand to be uh, corrected? Come on. Amen. I, I'm not talking just to you. I'm talking to myself. Come on. Amen, somebody. Come on. And preacher rebuke me and say, Pastor, uh, you should do it this way because this is the right way to do it. I shouldn't get mad. Amen. Hmm? Amen. The Bible says there's a way that seems right and to man. You follow me? Amen. That's the way that seems right to me. Yeah. Now, this organization is going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Because why? They're trying to bring people together. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to bring people together. Uh -huh. They're trying to correct the mistake that we've been making for year after year. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, this is my church, and I do it ah. this way. You do it your way. Yeah. Are you following me? Uh -huh. You're preaching. Amen. Amen. But will we take the correction that God is trying to <coughs> trying to make? Yes. Yeah. Uh, or will we continue to walk in darkness, yeah. but yet say that we are the light of the world? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Yeah. 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 Man, I don't care who the truth coming from. That's right. Amen. You got to be able to accept truth. Yes, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says that a fool uh, see, uh, see uh, danger and he walk therein. In uh -huh. other words, amen, pride will cause you to fall. Yes. Arrogance will cause you to fall. Haughtiness will cause you to fall. Yes. But when you humble yourself, under the mighty hands of God. So, see, we're thinking it's just talking about the God that sits high and looks low. But God give men of God and women of God the hands. They're the hands. Amen, somebody. And when you can humble yourself under the angels, under the leaders of the church and take correction. 